the weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, where we are currently at war with a lot of factions. Fortunately, not with Valandia anymore. Um, hopefully we'll be in war with them uh, soon again, though. I want to keep uh, keep on going with the, I guess, the execution of their nobility. But one thing that kind of scares me is that Ragnvad, our um, noble king and leader, declared war on the Northern Empire, it seems. Which is the biggest empire in Calradia currently. So now we're in the middle between Batania and the Empire. And th like I said, this kind of scared me. So I hit the internet hard on finding some more tips and tricks on how to fight with the Sturgeons. Uh, and it seems like I've been doing it wrong, putting my infantry into a shield wall line formation, while I should actually be putting them into a square formation, because that makes it a lot more difficult for their cavalry and infantry to, to penetrate the lines, basically. And then I will be uh, massing up my archers behind them, basically. And I will be running around with my ranged uh, cavalry, and hopefully, um, hopefully snipe some of uh, their units, making me... Making them attack me, basically. Because you remember, one big problem that I have with Mountain Blade currently is that the reinforcement spawn is really weird. In the sense that the um, the AI can basically just camp right at their re reinforcement spawn. If I don't attack them first and kill some of their units and then retreat. Because hopefully that will get their units to start attacking mine. But... If I don't follow that strategy, then basically I'll be running straight into their lines, they're standing in the spawn point, and then the reinforcements will just spawn right smack dab in the middle of my infantry, while my reinforcements spawn on the other side of the map. So I have to be a bit smarter with how I manage, um, with how I manage those parts. Hopefully... Uh, Sturgia will be dealing with the uh, Western Empire. I will try. I will uh, try out my tactics against um, against Batania because someone has to hold this Western Front. I'm thinking that it might be just as well that it's me. Uh, surrender or die. Send troops. Love the hairdo on that guy. And of course, I hope that we will be in. Uh, that we will be in peace with the Empire uh, as soon as possible. Because they, I think they're too strong for us, basically. I think they're too darn strong. And Batania is too quick for us in the forest. Batanians are super quick. While well, I'm having some... I'm still, I'm still pretty quick. I'm not that slow. I'm going to help them defeat beat the party. We are so much stronger than they are, it seems. So I'm just gonna send troops. Auto-resolve that one. Prisoners. I have uh, none of these units already among my prisoners. However, I do have room for some more. So I'm gonna take all of them. And then hopefully that will give me uh, a better... Or uh, basically that will give me a spot to recruit units from. That's why I keep the prisoners here in big clusters. Because like, yeah, as you can see, I can uh, fill up my ranks with these units. Recruit you. That's good. Get some loot. And now I will be trying to assemble a army to attack Penkanok. Let's, oh my god, hope Landia don't declare war on us anytime soon, because I don't want to mess with that squad. I don't want any looters amongst my ranks. I need better units than that. Also, I have another strategy that I'm going to work on. Basically, when going into war, into battle like uh, sieging at Penkanaka or something like that, I will try to use higher tier units so that's something that i'm gonna i'm gonna try right now basically i will be switching in um units from my army with better units from my garrison at aster castle for example where i have some pretty good units 
So the Sturgeon Othrox, I don't want them. Sturgeon Warriors, don't need them. I'm gonna use those later on when I uh, want to l when I want them to level up, basically. Um, like anything under, like in this level, only two. I want. I rather have Batanian heroes there. Clan warriors, Variags, Batanian trained warriors, Sturgeon soldiers, Sturgeon brigands. Wow, I do have a lot of trash in this army. And like I said, I will hopefully be filling up with better units to make a stronger army for myself. And then I will be um, picking up the uh, the weaker units when I just want to run around and level them up, basically. Sturgeon Archer, Higher Crossbow, Batanian Flarn. Was it Batanian? I don't know. Okay, 168. I still have room for a couple more. Sturgeon Veteran Bowman. And now we're maxed out. So let's see, do I have any more weaker units that I want to give back? Batanian Picked Warrior. They have shields though, so I want to have them in the siege. Now I need to find units that don't have shields, like the Imperial Elite Menavliation. They are pretty. They do have a decent amount of armor, but I'd rather have... Okay, these guys. It's only five, but I can still give them back uh, to the garrison. And then let's give back a couple of... I only have two, so let's give back both. Okay, so now we should have a decent army. And I will be seeing if I can create an army. So far, there are only two armies. Between them, they got um, 12 parties. So I will look at the lowest cost. I have 198 influence right now. So I will try, let's see, 951. I want big amounts of units. 120, I mean, I think it's better if I deselect that one and select this one. One day and 20 hours away. Uh, 188, a little more than a thousand troops. I think this uh, this might be good. I might unfortunately be uh, taking some units from the from the Eastern Front, uh, which of course is maybe not very good. Okay, look at that. Can we? I'm gonna help your party. Send troops. It would be really, really good if I'm able to wipe out that army. That's. Uh, Plundering Aster currently. And we are sieging Mechalovea Castle. Hopefully we can claim it without my help. I say help because I'm not very... Um, because I don't want to brag about the fact of how bad I am at siege battles. Okay. Fortunately we can level up troop just by running around I guess. But where are all of my... Reinforcements that are coming by. A courier with a ransom offer for freedom of Eric has arrived. They offer you. No, I don't want to free any of their nobility. If possible, I would rather be uh, executing them, actually. Not Batanians, but I um, I tried to execute as many of the Valandia nobility as possible. Because those are my, uh, that's my nemesis right there. Okay, got some more units there, and then we will be attacking Batania right now. I'm gonna help Aster. The uh, balance of power is in my favor. The thing with Batania, though, is that they usually have a lot of ranged units. It seems like they don't here, though. They have a lot of infantry. Sure, they have a lot of infantry. Some cavalry. Quite a lot of cavalry. But most important of all, they don't have any archers. And now I'm going to try the uh, tactic that uh, internet was nice enough nice enough to, get, to uh, give me. Most likely the Batanians are going to spawn over here. On the other side of the village basically. So I will take my...
my uh, infantry and put them into, let's see, uh, shield wall formation. And then let's see, shield wall square. Okay, so now they're in a square, which is awesome. And then I'm gonna take put my archers behind here and put them into loose formation. And I will most likely be um, I will most likely be sending them back a bit further. And then I will just have my cavalry follow me. And the mounted archers. Um, follow me as well. Okay, so now we should be ready. And the archers are standing. Wow, this got really dark. That doesn't seem to be correct. Let's see if I can do something about that, shall we? And there we are back. Hopefully, this fixed it. If you ever have a problem with the battlefield going dark like that, what I did is I just switched the display mode from borderless full screen to full screen. And then it all came back. I don't know if there's a logic behind it. But it worked for me, and hopefully, if you have the similar issues that I do, that I did, uh, hopefully, it's gonna work for you as well. Fortunately, I will not. You remember the tactic that I talked about of uh, basically baiting them into attacking me? It seems like I don't have to do that here. So I will be taking my archers, putting them. Let's see, up here maybe. So that will give them a better range. And look at that. My units are standing in such good shield wall formation. And I really hope that my archers will start firing soon. There we go. Now they're getting somewhere. And the cavalry will hopefully just be taken down by the infantry. They stand their ground. Whoa. Oh my god, I for thought I forgot to, uh... I thought I forgot to select a sword, basically. But, I did. I really need longer weapons. Okay, so far it's going alright. I will actually ask my cavalry to attack right now and the archers are still doing quite well oh wow I'm bringing some of them down at least So far, this looks okay. The archers are still firing. We have killed a few more than they have, fortunately. Yeah, a couple more. And like I said, I think, yeah, the reinforcements spawn way back there. Which will be, um, it's gonna be tough for them to uh, push up here. Especially while our reinforcements are going to spawn exactly right here. So now I'll have the cavalry follow me yet again, because we don't want them to just charge into the ranks of over a hundred infantrymen. We do not want that. But the archers, the ones that still has any ammunition, will keep on firing. And actually, I just bought myself a brand new longbow that is supposed to be a lot quicker to draw than the one that I had currently. So actually... Try to uh, get some shots in. Oh, look at that. So far it works out quite well. 
Oh wow. That guy works the shield like a boss. Okay, now it's time for butcher's work. And I might actually have to get up on my noble steed. But now it seems like I'm not able to. So I will keep trying to snipe some units with my bow. Dealing some damage every here and there, and hopefully I'm going to level up my bow skills as well to make... Oh, sorry. To become uh, more efficient in this. Because in siege battles, uh, I really need to be uh, using my bow quite well. To uh, do support my units as much as I possibly can. Okay, they are getting even more reinforcements. So now I'll ask my archers to... Um, or my cavalry, sorry, to once again mass up or and follow me. And now I just need to find my friggin' horse. And as soon as their horses are starting to move in, I will be... Oh, I'm just gonna take one of these horses. Looks cool. Mount. Thank you. Okay. Our infantry is standing in a good square formation. Our reinforcements just join up with, our, with that formation right away. And our archers are standing up on this hill. Hopefully doing a stellar job with uh, shooting down whatever units they uh, come up with. And I think, however, that a lot of our archers are actually running out of ammunition. So I'm gonna post. Uh, I'm gonna spread them out a little bit, and hopefully everyone will get a good. Will get a good angle to fire. Oh, sorry about that. So sorry. I just wanted to see the stats. Okay, currently we have more units. We have killed a lot more than they have. Um, so so far, the strategy seems to be working quite well. Your relation is increased. Wait, did everyone... Did everyone give up? Yeah, victory. Awesome. Great work. Great work. Uh, you are my prisoner now. And you are my prisoner now. Okay, did we... Maybe we even release some prisoners after this battle. You are my prisoner now. Ooh, we got a lot of troops. Got a lot of troops. I just want the very best ones. The flan, the spearman, Batanian hero, sturgeon heavy axeman. Those are actually the ones that I'm going to be going um, that I'm going to be uh, going for. The sturgeon heavy axeman. If you look at the uh, unit tree, as I've learned from the internet, uh, the sturgeon heavy axeman is the best unit I can use for the sturgeons because they have a light but sturdy shield. And they, of course, also have uh, a secondary weapon to throw. So they can do damage both ranged and uh, with swords. Of course, the spearmen are good against cavalry, but only when they are standing uh, packed together in formation. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be going for. Batanian scouts. Uh, Batanian volunteers, clan warriors. I'm just going to see what units I have amongst my prisoners. I can't really... I can't really have any more uh, prisoners or units in my army currently. I can't take a lot of loot though. That's always a good idea. So this is nice. Now I just uh, took care of one of the bigger Batanian armies. They still have a lot of defenders. So I will be waiting for my um, army to become a bit bigger. And then I will be sieging Dunglanis. Uh, and also, of course, I have to level up my units. Heavy Spearman, Heavy Axeman. That's what I'm talking about. So, there we go. Got some better units. And I actually will be recruiting some of these. I mean, archers are always good in a siege. How's it going for us right now? Diplomacy against the Northern Empire. Oh my god, look at their total strength, 17,000. 
where they've inflicted more casualties, they have more prisoners, they have more towns, they have more castles. 24 castles. 10 more castles than we do. 10 more towns than we do. Oh my god, we really need uh, to take care of Batania. We really, really need to take care of Batania. Look at that. We've got some more food and stuff. Uh, okay, Sturgeons, even more Sturgeons have been released after uh, battles. So it looks like we've actually been uh, having some successful battles giving us some of uh, our prisoners back. They have 200 units in garrison. Okay, and they have quite a decent militia. Do you want to resolve owner of Mekalovea Castle? Uh, yeah, sure, man, I'll vote for you. Actually, can I just not? Okay, no, I can't anymore. I was just thinking that I don't want to spend any influence uh, giving these castles away. I might as well use it to uh, recruit some units, right? Uh, can I manage my army and maybe add some more units? 25. 13 hours, 15 hours away. Hopefully I'll get a lot of this um, influence back when I take Dunglanis. Uh, okay, I have two parties still on foot. Now it's just one left. So let's go ahead and uh, besiege this town. And hopefully I'm going to do a decent job. I bring it down. I'm not gonna go with any. Uh, can I just? Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm not gonna go with the rams or siege towers right away. Okay, and now they decide to sally out or whatever you call it right here. So let's see. I'm actually gonna wait with that. Have my trebuchets try to bring down some of their siege equipment. Seems like I can't really ask them to aim anywhere, though. Unfortunately. I don't know if they're going for the wall or what they're... Yeah, they're going for the wall. Still getting some decent amount of units to the army. I have no idea what they're aiming for right now. So I'm going to do it like this. I will be moving that one to reserve, and then I'm going to, yes, move you to reserve. And then I will be adding more siege equipment to the reserve, and then I will just uh, get all of them out at once, basically. Move to reserve, build another onager. So far, we don't have any Batanian armies coming this way. Move to reserve. And then as soon as this is done, I'm going to move that one to reserve as well. And then I will have all of them. Um, I will assemble all of them at once. Okay, let's see. Oh, did they actually break that one? So now I'm going to bring that one out. I have no idea what they're aiming at. Yeah, they do start to bring down some of the ballistae quite efficiently. That's what I'm talking about. And as soon as one of these are down, I will be just popping in uh, a new set of siege equipment. Currently, we have more units than they do, which is good. The balance of power is in our favor. And we seem to be doing quite well against those walls as well. I'm sorry if this is not a lot of fun to watch, but at least our food is doing great. We're not starving yet. We are losing some units in the siege though, but so are they. The Ballista of Dunglaris, the Onager, my party has been destroyed. That's too bad. 
I'm gonna move it to reserve again, build some more stuff. Okay, we might actually... Yeah, we might actually have to uh, wait until all of these are built. Delios of the hand? Are people starting to leave? What the heck? Oh, right. Most likely it's because uh, all of our influence ran out, right? That's too bad. That could have been really cool. Parties. Do you have any parties left? Armies. Create an army. Or did we... We didn't make peace, right? There's only one army currently. Low cost. There we go. Now the army is coming back. Most likely was because uh, our food didn't run out. Could it be because our cohesion ran out, maybe? So there we go. You are my prisoner now. We are, wow, we are really starting to get quite a lot of prisoners. I'm gonna recruit all of you into my army. Uh, Sturgeon, Heavy Axeman. And then we can have all of you amongst our prisoners as well. I don't really know what happened among my army, to be honest. Did our morale run out, maybe? Maybe. Could be that I should have attacked a lot sooner than I actually did. Can I attack you, maybe? No. Nope. Too dang slow. Let's see. It seems like I have all of my almost all of my armies here. Still they have a lot of wounded defenders, so it's a bad idea to attack right now, right? I think it might be a bad idea, but still, we're, we can do some. Uh, we can do some raiding. That's always a big, a good fun. Raid the village. Send troops. Victory! Awesome. And we're gonna do it like that. Take the loot. And now just, just keep raiding. Just keep raiding. I would like to attack while they have a lot of wounded units, actually. But I think it's also good to uh, bring down their countryside. Okay. No, just keep raiding. Okay, and there... Okay, I should try to join uh, to join in and help some more of our units I of our uh, armies I suppose when they're in battle where are we under siege hmm. okay please tell me that Ragnarvad's army is gonna siege Yes, okay, this is gonna be, talk to army leader, I must leave now. Uh, join the continuing siege, so now we're both sieging, and I think this is gonna be quite a massive one, hopefully. Why are people leaving my army? That's what I want to know. Manage. It's a good thing at least my uh, companions are still in the army. And I will ask you to join as well. And then, let's see, you're on your way. Should be here anytime now. Ragnvad create an army. Fafin create an army. Draka create an army. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a good battle, I hope. 
Oh, wow, look at that. Can I actually leave? Oh my god, how slow am I? Okay, maybe if I go here, I can get them to attack me. No. Oh wow, did they just rebel? Okay, whatever. Let's let's continue with this siege, shall we? Join the continuing siege, and then we're just gonna basically fast forward. Oh my god, do they have a lot of onagers? A lot of onagers, and that's just gonna completely mess up our um, our morale and yeah our morale and our numbers yeah it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good not gonna be good at all recruiting all of you and I'm gonna take some more units from Astor Castle uh, managed garrison there we go and I can send do we have any quite bad ones here? Yeah, some Batanian archers, some Batanian volunteers. Yeah, like this. And then let's see who is sieging. Oh, oh, okay. Some units of the Kuzites has been attacked. And Raganvad's army seems to be going at it again. And I don't think, yeah, maybe we can see, uh, raid Glenthrig yet again. Wow, I can't believe how big armies um, Britannia can amass in their garrisons. This is crazy talk. Upgrading some of my infantry to cavalry. Hopefully, that's gonna go well. Are there any Batanian armies that I can just like attack? That would be a lot of fun. Nevik Frostbear is leveled up. Scouting. Increased maximum track spotting distance. Maximum track life. That might be good. Hunting down enemy parties. Okay. Now, I might actually want to. Join the continuing siege. I just hope that we'll actually like attack eventually. I mean, I'd rather fight Ballistae than uh, Onagers every day of the week. Most likely, he's just building up his siege equipment. And then we'll be attacking. Dunglanis. Do you know if there's any way that I can select for my um, for my siege equipment to attack specific uh, specific parts of the castle, like the wall or the defensive siege equipment? Hmm. Because that's something that I really want to do in order to just target down those ballistae. When will you be attacking Raganvad, my good sir? I'll add some more in cohesion. We really need some more food as well because otherwise the army is going to break up. And we really need to keep the band together for as long as possible. Okay, lead an assault. Now, we'll be going into the siege of Dunglanis. And I really hope we're gonna make it. I really hope we're gonna make it. I brought my bow. That's good stuff. And also, I'll need to see what kind of units I will be responsible for leading. Thirteen... Thirteen infantry. Awesome. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, this is gonna go well, hopefully. Dranga the Shield Maiden. Oh, actually, I will be in charge of quite a lot of these units. Will I be first in the breach? No, it doesn't seem like it, does it? Uh, shield wall. And... Yeah. Looks like a lot of my units will be responsible for pushing up the siege tower. They have more defenders than we have units. So I guess that doesn't feel very good. But we have... A lot of, resor of resources, reinforcements coming in, um, which should hopefully make it okay. Why do I have like a thousand separate units of archers? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Let's see. Can I fire at anyone here? I really want to bring down the Ballistai crew. I do not want them to be firing on uh, on my units. Oh, look at that. Who is firing at me? And why are they so darn... Um, accurate. Okay, there we go. Or it seems like a lot of people are actually firing at me. There we go. One to the stomach. One to the stomach. And one to the stomach. One to the throat, it seems. Okay, when... Do you think we will can look at getting uh, some reinforcements? Wow, seems like I have the absolutely worst place ever to um, to uh, fire with my bow because they are standing just everywhere. Look at that one down, almost one down. That was close. Almost one down. One down. Look at that. Can't hit that. You're standing in the open, so I will be attacking you. One more down. At least... Um, Oh my god, shooting at my own siege tower. At least we're doing some damage to these guys, right? Our uh, morale is... Uh, is starting to dwindle. A little bit. Oh my god. Yeah, took an arrow to the stomach and now all of the units... All of our units are retreating. So let's see if... We'll be getting some reinforcements. Yes, we are. But, of course, we are losing a lot of troops. And if we're going down too far, then I'm going to have to uh, end the battle and retreat my squad, basically. Because now they're just standing over there. I don't know what they're aiming at. Yeah, I'm going to end this battle and retreat my party because this is not going well at all. Wow. Oh, of course. Ragnvad's army decided to retreat. Thank you, Ragnvad, you freaking ass face. Why do we want to help with a siege if he's just gonna bail right up uh, in the siege? God dang it. So, that was not a lot of fun. Okay, can we attack this little army, do you think? I want to be faster. We do seem to have a lot of prisoners and I just want these guys to do just one wrong step so that I can uh, oh my god why are we so dang slow 
There we go. Help Lucala's party. Uh, this might actually be fun. I'm actually gonna fight this one. 600 something against 100 something. Oh my. Yeah. So, the U units will be in... Square formation. U will be in... That formation. You will be following me. You will be following me. And we are ready to rock. Okay, let's see if there is a super efficient way. Okay, it seems like... Oh, are we helping out Vlandia? I don't want to help out Vlandia. Is that the square? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, helping out my uh, nemesis, my mortal enemy. Mm, I don't think this should be... Okay, let's just have... Uh, everyone... Attack, basically, and hopefully we'll just get a lot of experience. Really? We already losing units? Oh, the Vlandians. And the cavalry can attack as well. And I think they're gonna get a couple of uh, groups of reinforcements. The Batanians, most likely. Look at that. This is going great. I just remembered that I actually still have a lot of healing to do from the from the siege. So maybe I shouldn't be too uh, too aggressive right here. Okay, like I said, there comes the next uh, the next group of reinforcements. They have their spawning point right over here. And now I'll have the cavalry following me yet again, and hopefully we can just bait them into attacking us. Let's make a shield wall with the footmen. Look at that. This is going just great. I don't like it that the Volandians get their opportunity to level up their armies, which we are going to have to fight later on. Uh, okay, 25. I don't think they will be getting any more reinforcements now. They should have gotten them already in that case. At least I hope that's the case. Yeah, it seems like everyone's just running away right now, so we can just uh, mop up the rest of them. There we go. Going well. This is for the Siege of Dungladys. And they're like, we weren't even at Dungladys. But I think currently we're at war with Batania and we want... We want Batania to lose ground, right? And Valandia should hate me. Yeah, they do. They do. Batanian, trained warrior, scout, skirmisher. I just want to see if I have any big ass groups of um, of these prisoners already so that I can recruit them later on. And I did have a couple of them. I did have a couple. Uh, recruit all. Maybe I should actually disband my army. I'm thinking about it. Can we siege this place? Or raid this place, rather? Nope. Already been looted. Pan Kanok still has a lot of defenders. A lot of defenders, and Batania is on fire, big time. And let's see if I can... I really should be raiding some stuff right now. 
Can we maybe buy some food here in Torlade? I guess we need some for our army. Otherwise, they're all gonna leave me. And who would blame them, right? Buy products. Yes, please. Some more food. Thank you. Maybe we can even buy some food here in Car Banzeth. Because money's not a problem, it's the food that's the problem. Attaining War Mount, yes. We love faster armies. Do you have a lot of food? Yes, you do have a lot of grain. Yeah, we can buy all the grain. Thank you. And then, see, I don't think they have any more food. And then we can also sell a couple of our uh, crafted swords here. And all of a sudden, we actually get resources for, uh, for trading here. For buying grain. So that's awesome. More money, more food. We're doing great. Costalia's army, hopefully they bring down the amount of defenders quite a bit. But it feels like this is just uh, such a wasted effort. Uh, running around the barren lands of Batania. So actually, I'll, I might actually uh, move to the to the east. And hopefully... Um, move to the east and hopefully be able to help on that front instead. Because it doesn't feel like I'm um, doing a lot to help in the war against Batania. And now we're under siege at Mechalovea Castle. Hopefully, I'll be able to help them out. Uh, cost. Do we have... Yes, we do have units with lower cost. Or parties, rather, with lower costs that we want in our army. And I will be recruiting all of you. Because hopefully, you will be... Um, leveling up. Total cost... Okay, Mechalovea Castle actually uh, was able to withstand that siege. Okay, so far I would love that piece in my uh, in my army. Two hundred and forty-five units. I would love that. Let's see if we can maybe siege. Uh, oh, Seranor, feeling feisty, Seranor. Guess not. We'll be raiding Gersergos, take a hostile action, raid the village. Let's see if any of, if any, okay, now we're at peace. Awesome, we're at peace with the Northern Empire. Love that, because gosh, dang it. They're, uh, they're a difficult adversary. So now we can just put all of our effort back on Batania. I really want, like, uh, Pencanoc and Dunglanis. Really need those big ass uh, cities. Really, really need them. But then Ragenvad, the coward that he is, actually needs to have my back when I'm helping him <laughs> in the sieges as well. I actually thought that he would be uh, fighting alongside me. But I guess he had other, other things to do. Okay, so now someone's sieging at Dunglanis again. Let's see, can we actually bring down some of the looters? Yes, we can. They are slow. Getting some more food. That's good. And I think... Ac okay, it's... It's the Vlandian sieging Dunglanis? Okay. Well, the Vlandians have big-ass armies. Oh, god dang. Please tell me we're at least sieging Pencanoc. No? Okay, okay. They are sieging right now. And I just hope that they're gonna lose. I sincerely hope that they're gonna lose. We have ended some mercenary contracts, that's cool. Oh, okay, that took Pencanoc. God dang it. That's too bad, that's too bad. 
I would really have liked to gotten that settlement, but at least, okay, that's one fewer for Batania. And Dunglanus is still under siege. Still under siege. And now we're starting to lose. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. You shared your food with starving soldiers. That's why everyone's freaking leaving because they don't have any food, right? But of course they can have my food. I'm not completely unreasonable. Leave. Doesn't feel like uh, there's that much stuff going on right now. We have been doing some battles and that's been going all right. But still, I would love to take Dunglanus from the uh, Batanians. Actually, I think I will. Uh, Velina, kick you out. Melia the Accursed and Litka Willowbark. Those are both my companions, so they shouldn't be uh, that demanding. Dracus party. That might be a lot of fun. I really want the Vlandians to fail at Dunglanus. And then we will be able to take it. Hopefully. Because we need more I mean we need more cities. Need a lot more cities. Um and more castles, everything. We just need more space, you know. Lake rats. Okay, I think we're done there. Take the loot. I mean, at least the uh, air, the uh, bow shooting seemed to be going quite well. So that's always something. Come on, please, just fail already. Oh my god, they got Dunglanus. Okay, so now Batania is out. And Batania is out. Lost one settlement to Vlandia and one to the, I guess, Southern Empire, Western Empire. So our enemies got more space, but we while we got less space. Disband the army. Hopefully they will be able to branch out on their own. And then I guess we just have to... Uh, Keep on training our troops, go back to Astor Castle, giving a lot of good troops to Astor Castle and take a lot of crappy ones on ours uh, that we can upgrade, or train rather. So manage the garrison. Oh, I still want the good cavalry though. I think it's only basically the infantry and archers that I've given to... Uh, that I've given to the castle garrison. And let's just get all of you in here. Ultrok, Sturgeon Militia, Archer, Mercenary Guard. Let's just go crazy with all these lower tier units. Looters. No, I'm good with that. Batanian. Fian champion. Okay, now Imperial Train Archers. We have a lot of space. Batanian volunteers. We can level up those boys. And there we go. And then give back you guys. And now we're at 182. And we have the higher tier units in the castle and lower tier units in the army so hopefully we might quite quickly start uh, leveling up the troops 
However, I think I'm going to be doing that on uh, outside of the recording. Currently, we are at peace with uh, the Empire, fortunately. But we're still at war with Batania. And you are... You are a prisoner. So, I mean... Oh, we actually have some in my party. That's cool. Party. Maybe I should take the opportunity to execute some of them. I don't like it, but... Might be just as well. So they don't... Um, so they might give up eventually. Of course, it's not good for my rep. It's not good for my rep at all. But yeah, so I will be training up my armies um, between recordings. And during this one, it's been a lot of walking around. We did get some battles and I tried the new tactics with the Sturgeons, which actually worked out to my uh, in my favor. So I'm very happy about that. I'll be doing some stuff with my economy as well, trying to get some influence up, etc, etc. And I will see you in the next episode. But until then, have a great day.